<laughs> and about it, it makes me want to cry now. I don't even, I'm not even going to cry, but it was so overwhelming then. <laughs> I need to, I need to, I need to put myself together. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Uzo. If today is your first time here, you're welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning in once again and viewing my video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about something I, something that's just been on my mind for a while. I saw this video on Instagram, I think three weeks ago, it was trending. And um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about it because it really touched me because I've been in that same situation and it really, it really touched me to be honest because being in that position is not fun at all just a lot to deal with mentally so when i came across that video people were laughing in the comment section and i'm like you would you don't even know how it feels or maybe it's just it was just the video was somehow so i understand why people were laughing but like if you're in that situation it's not funny at all and being that i've been in that situation i could understand where the lady was coming from so i just wanted to share it on my channel and give my opinion the lady came out and was crying on the internet about how lonely she was and how she was alone in this world and she just wanted to be with somebody she just wanted to be somebody's wife or somebody's girlfriend and she was really crying at first i thought she was joking because people make all these random videos like just to get the views but i saw real tears in her eyes and it really touched my heart and like it was just so heartbreaking to see i'm going to play that video so that you guys will see what i'm talking about and yeah i'll continue with the conversation so yeah watch the video now <laughs> I'm so fucking tired of being alone. I'm so tired of trying to find love on you. Sad the situation is for her to now make the video and just maybe she just wanted someone to talk to or she didn't have someone to just vent to and she decided to post. I don't know what was going on in her mind. I'm not. I'm not going to sit down here and act like I know what she was thinking about. But it was really heartbreaking. And yeah, I just hope whoever she is now, she feels better and it's over it because <laughs> things like this, it can make one like think about the extreme or it can push one off the edge. Loneliness is like, it's a very, very serious thing. And I'm going to share with you people two times in my life when I've actually been very lonely. Personally, I'm very introverted. I love my own company. There comes a point when your own company becomes like, you know what, you just want someone else's company. And you know, the thing about loneliness is some things can feel that void for you. Maybe your job can feel that void. If you have somewhere to go, your friends, if you're in a relationship, if you're married, yeah, they can also do that. But in my own situation, it was in 2020 during the coronavirus, I had just lost my job. I was at home all the time. That was like my first year living alone. I was not at home all the time. I just worked for like one month or two months. Then the pandemic started. So I just found myself so lonely like i was so lonely you wake up in the morning and you're like what's today going to be <laughs> what's going to happen today <laughs> like every night i'm so happy it's dark but and every morning i'm so sad like what am i going to do so it's going to be another day of just sitting around and sleeping around and watching tv i was watching tv all the time that period and at a point it just becomes the watching television becomes like a chore like you don't even want to do it again yeah during that time i wake up in the morning i just look i just hiss i'm like not again not again so here we go again i'll go take a shower find something to eat and i'm back on my bed and i had this small apartment i didn't even have space to like stretch my legs or let's say like going out and you don't want to be going outside roaming the streets as if it, so that everybody in the world knew that you're actually jobless because this was a time when you know the pandemic people were at home so it was cool 
But when people started returning to work, that was, that was when it dawned on me that you're actually jobless and you're lonely and you're alone <laughs> and everybody's busy except you. <laughs> so that loneliness didn't stem from not having like someone or like I know the video you he just watched, she was talking about having a life partner or like a boyfriend or a husband in her life but my own loneliness came from not having where to go or not having what to do not where to go not having what to do with your life so that can also be very very lonely and i know that some people are in that situation now especially if you've just finished school and you're looking for a job that period of your life can actually be very very you feel like you're the only person but trust me people have been through it I just want to assure you that just a phase and it's going to pass. I know that while the phase is still going on, it's really bad, but trust me, it's going to pass. The second time I was lonely was in 2021. That's the last quarter of 2021. I had just finished this makeup training to become a makeup artist. You know when you finish that kind of training, you don't have like clients immediately. You have to build your clientele. <laughs> you have to build it. So that period of just waiting around, just finish learning this handwork. You don't even have a studio and you don't even have what to do. Not if you have clients. Sometimes I used to like call models and I would do their makeup just so that I have content to post on Instagram. But the day you're not doing that, which you can't do that every day because you need funds for that. So the days you're not doing that, you find out that you're just alone. Like for me, then if I wake up in the morning, I will just start crying immediately. Like I just wake up. <laughs> like thinking about it now makes me want to cry. <laughs> thinking about it makes me want to cry now. I don't even I'm not even going to cry, but it was so overwhelming then. <laughs> yeah. You wake up in the morning and you just start crying immediately. Now you just I I start crying immediately because I'm like, oh, is this what I'm going to do? Like did I go to school for this? <laughs> Oh. I'm like, is this why I went to school for all those years? Just to come back and just sit around. And you know what loneliness can do to I need to I need to I need to put myself together. Yeah, guys, as I was saying, so what was going through my mind was like, is this why I went to school to just wake up and just sit down at home and have nothing to do? Like, this is horrible. What am I doing with my life? I will wake up in the morning, I'll just bust, I'll just start crying. If I finish crying, when I'm done crying, I just lay on my bed and I sleep off. And when I wake up, it'll be like 10 a.m. <laughs> And I'm like, oh my goodness, it's still morning, it's still morning, and I'll start crying all over again, and just that repeated cycle, and when you're going through this thing, you feel like this is never ending, like when is this actually going to end, but I'm going to tell you this one for free, there's light at the end of the tunnel, no matter what you're going through, you're still going to get, like, it's still going to get better. It's not going to remain like that forever. If you can just persevere, it's going to be, be, get better. I guarantee you that. So for this woman that is crying, I don't even know what to say. I hope things get better for her. When I found myself in that situation of not having what to do, what did I do? I, I just, one day, I just said, in the morning, I just had my bath and I just went out of the house and I'm, I was like okay today I'm going to find a studio that I can be going to every day not every day maybe like three times a week and there was this studio that I was always passing and my mind just told me see this studio go there many studios but that was the one that told me to come and stay in their studio 
and at least then i was going like mondays fridays and wednesdays so at least i had active i had something to look up to you don't you don't know what how difficult it is not to have what to look up to at least when i wake up on monday i'm like okay i'm going somewhere tuesday even though you feel like oh, nothing is happening tuesday but you have something to look up to on wednesday so yeah that really helped me not only you know, it, didn't stem, it didn't stem from not having a partner or not having friends it stemmed from like oh, i'm not doing something pro productive with my life i need to do something productive so loneliness it comes in different forms you might be lonely because you don't have a child you might be lonely because you don't have what you're doing you might because you don't have a partner because you don't have money to do stuff you want to do so it comes in different forms but i'm just sharing my experience how i dealt with it and i don't even think i necessarily did anything to help the situation i just feel like put god in your heart like let god fill that void you have you just find out that everything becomes better I remember I started attending service on Sunday and on Wednesdays for midweek and I find out that anytime I attend service like I feel so much better as if all my burdens had lifted everything just became better I have shared my own story with you I would love to hear your own story in the comment section because I know that so many people are passing through this thing so many people especially young people that are still trying to figure out the trajectory of their life I like to hear own stories and for this lady that i played her video it's just one person out of so many people in the world if i had made a video in 2020 or 2021 <laughs> crying home one of one of those mornings when i was crying it would have been really bad like she represents so many people in this world that are going through it if you're going through it just know that it's a phase and it will pass and that god is always there for you if you seek him and draw him close he's going to feel all the void you have in your heart that's the video for you guys i hope you learned something and i hope this video touched even if it's one person I hope you feel better if you're in this situation because I don't know, it will pass to be honest. It will pass. I know that as you're going through it and someone is telling you to pass, it's just so annoying. But trust me, these days I'm able to complain that I have so many things on my plate. And I was complaining that I was I didn't have anything to do at all. So this life, like Nothing is ever enough. Then I didn't have anything to do. But now my days are packed. Like I'm always busy doing one thing or the other. So just know that this is a phase. Enjoy it. I know it's no fun, but just enjoy it. That's the video guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and yeah. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.